So I really enjoyed watching this video and learning about um, kind of the history, I guess, of different streaming devices for music. So how I use the internet to learn about and listen to new music um, is YouTube is my go-to. I always am on YouTube um, discovering new music, listening to music to see if I like it before I buy it, anything like that. Um, I also use Spotify and Pandora a lot just because you can like create playlists or stations of music that you like. Um, there's recommendations on there too, so it's also another great way to discover new music. Um, and it's free, so that's always nice as well. Um, but I do use iTunes as well to just kind of purchase my favorite songs. Um, that way I have them whenever and wherever I am. If I'm like going on a road trip and want to listen to music, um, don't have Wi-Fi in the car, so it's definitely easier to do that. Um, I think that the internet can both help and hurt musical artists because if we're paying for it, obviously they're benefiting from it. But if we're just downloading it illegally or only streaming the music, um, that can even hurt them because they're not create getting a profit from the music. So that definitely hurts them. Um, pros and cons to streaming music would be for pros, it's affordable, it's usually um, free or you can pay like a monthly subscription to get like a no ad version and it's also available wherever there's Wi-Fi which is nice and most places these days have Wi-Fi so you can really listen to um, streaming music wherever and for cons would be not owning the music. Um, and they may not always have the newest music available to stream as well. So one thing I learned after watching the video is that with new technology, after an artist records a song, they can upload it within minutes and it's ready for people to listen to right away, which is great because a lot of the times we'll have to wait like maybe months before we can hear an artist's new song. Um, but if they can upload it right away, that's definitely going to help them attract um, more and more of a fan base by getting their music out there right away for people. And one thing that I can relate to um, and that was seen in the video is that streaming um, services offer like playlists that you can listen to depending on what you're doing. So if you're studying, maybe you want to listen to classical music, but if you're working out, maybe you want something more upbeat. And I definitely do take advantage of the playlists that the streaming services have created to um, do different things with.